Hello everyone. For today's video, I will discuss about writing off invoices in QuickBooks Desktop. So by writing off uncollectible invoices or accounts receivable, we will have an accurate view of the state of the company's finances at the moment in time, thus helping us get the correct net profit amount in QuickBooks. Since we have already recorded the invoice for the period, cruel basis, but it was never collected, so the income was overstated. By writing off, it is reclassified as bad debt expense. Yes, this is an unfortunate reality of most businesses, but at least we have an accurate view of the company's well-being. We should never delete an invoice, especially if the invoice belongs to the previous period and we have already filed and paid our taxes. Also, we should use the current date for the credit memo or for the writing off of the invoices so that we, we won't mess up with the previous period's reports and taxes. Okay, so right now I, I am using QuickBooks Enterprise Edition, but the method that I'm going to show you is available in all versions of QuickBooks from QuickBooks Pro, Premier, Accountant, and the Enterprise Solutions. So before we're going to write off an invoice, I will first go to our aging reports. Okay, so to determine which invoices needs to be written off. So I go to reports and then customers and receivables. I have aging summary and then aging detail for accounts receivable. So I'll go to the detailed report. Okay, and as of today, these are my open invoices. So I'm going to write off the, the first one which is 219 days overdue. And another useful report also is this one, reports and then customers and receivables and then open invoices. Okay, so just the same. It also shows you the number of days. So I'm going to write off this invoice number five for Jay Lawrence. So first, we're going to create a budget expense item in QuickBooks. I'll go to the home page, and then I'll click items and services. And then I will right click anywhere to add a new item. And I'm going to choose other charge. And the name is Bad Debts. So this is my item name. I'll just copy this and paste it in the description. The amount is zero and the account is Bad Debt Expense here. So you should have a Bad Debt Expense account in your chart of accounts. I will click OK. All right, so that's our item. So the invoice that we're going to write off is for last year, July 5th, 2021. So I will first run a profit and loss report. I'll go to reports, company and financial, and then profit and loss standard. Okay, so last fiscal year. So take note that this is our income and this are, these are our expenses. So to make sure that we won't touch or we won't edit anything in our 2021 books. Okay, so I will go to the home page. So this is the first option. We go to the home page and then click the icon for the refunds and the credits here. And then put in the customer name and the date today. Credit number is optional. And the item should be bad debts. Okay, so just click OK here. And then the amount, which is 20800 Okay, or another way is, I'm going to clear this first. You can also access it from here, customers, and then create credit memos or refunds. Or you can go to the customer center. Go to the customer, right-click, and then create credit memos or refunds. Okay. So let's start from here. And the customer name is automatically filled in by QuickBooks. So the date is today. Credit number. So the item is bad debts. And then just click OK here. The amount is 20800 All right. I will click Save here. Save anyway for the class. And we have three options. The first is retain as an available credit. Second is give a refund. The third is apply to an invoice. We're going to use the third option, which is apply to an invoice, so that the invoice from last year will be stamped as paid 
even if we didn't receive the actual cash. I will click OK. And I will choose the invoice. So it's automatically checked by QuickBooks since the amount is the same, 20800 Okay, and then I will click Done. All right, so it's already recorded. I will check the journal entry behind this transaction. So I will press Control Y for the journal entry. Okay, here. So it's a credit to accounts receivable of 20800 and a debit to bad debts expense for the same amount. All right, so I will close this report and then close this. I will go back to our profit and loss report here. Refresh. Okay, so our profit and loss amounts are still the same. So we haven't touched anything, which is good. I will go back to our open invoices report. Okay, so it's not anymore there. I'll go to the customer center. And I will double click the invoice. This one. All right, so as you can see, it's already stamped as paid, but we didn't receive the actual money since we reclassified this to budget expense. Then click the See History link, and this is the history of this invoice. I will click Save and Close here, and then I'll go back to our Profit and Loss report and change this to this fiscal year. Refresh. Okay, so here's our 20,800 bad debt expense. It is recorded as bad debt expense in the current year, the year that the invoice was written off. All right. Um, QuickBooks can also write off batch invoices. So if you have QuickBooks Enterprise or QuickBooks Accountant, then it has the ability to write off batch invoices. In QuickBooks Enterprise, you may go to Company and then Accounting Tools and then write off invoices okay and then i have another quickbooks here it's quickbooks accountant just go to accountant and then client data review and then write off invoices all right so that is for the accountant version okay so going back to the quickbooks enterprise solutions i'll go to company accounting solutions and then write off invoices all right so these are the open invoices you can filter this window by the number of days, aging, also by amount, and the date. Let's make this December, 20, December 31st. All right, refresh, and then transaction type is all charges, AR account. Okay, so I'm going to check all, or I'll just check two invoices. And then the write-off item is bad debts. And the write-off date is, let's make this February 10, and this is optional. I will click Preview and Write-off. All right, and then confirm the write-off. Click this. All right, there. I'm going to close this window. And this is a summary of the invoices that has been written off. You can also save this as PDF. Okay. And then going back to our profit and loss report. Refresh. So this is now our total bad debt expense for the year. I will double click this. All right. So three invoices that has been written off. All right. And let's go back to the previous year profit and loss. So the amounts, the figures are still the same. All right, there. So that's how to write off invoices in QuickBooks Desktop. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.